In this video, we will create the dynamic panels which will serve as conceptual pages in our adaptive template and will add navigation to our menu items. Okay, next to make our navigation work, we need to have pages to navigate between. As I mentioned earlier, we are not going to be using Axia pages the conventional way because we cannot animate changes between pages which we may wish to do so. We're going to use a dynamic panel one we have already set up. Double click the content panel in the viewport panel to open the dynamic panel state manager. We have a default state already which has all of the dummy placeholder text we created earlier. Let's rename this page 1. We're also going to add two other conceptual pages, page 2 and page 3. Let's open page 1. We're just going to copy and paste some of the content across the new views, updating the headers to reflect the page names. Page 2. And page 3. Let's just check the widgets have maintained their adapted features. Now we have to navigate between pages. Let's add the interactions for our menu. Now remember that interactions are not adaptive like formatting. So when we add an interaction to this menu item it will work like this across all views irrespective of what view you are working in. So on click we want to set panel state of content dynamic panel to page 1. This is the point at which you may add some animation between the pages if so desired. OK. Now we'll do the same for the other two menu items. OK. And item 3. Three. OK, now we have working links. Press F5. Let's test this in the large view. OK. In the smaller views, the menu is positioned outside of the viewport, so we can't test this just yet. We need to add the interactions to show and move the menu. This is coming up shortly, but first setting up adaptive styles for our menu items in the next video.